black uranium oxide tablets are generally used as nuclear fuels, but these fuels are not suitable, for example, for the extraction of plutonium from irradiated fuel after a certain time in a reactor, because of the presence of many impurities and the difficulty of extracting plutonium. This problem is less with uranium metal fuels, and they are much better suited for chemical separation of plutonium in a process called purex from the uranium metal plate to produce plutonium metal spheres in nuclear weapons. Moreover, it will be possible to produce more plutonium with this kind of metallic fuel. Iran has mastered this technology today and can certainly further develop and improve this type of fuel. Another point related to these metallic uranium plates is that nuclear-powered submarines use exactly this kind of fuel plates, or in similar forms, depending on reactor designs, with enrichment of more than 90%. It is a very suitable fuel with high energy density that can power the submarine for 25 or 30 years. High energy density fuels are important because of the lack of space in submarines. The best type of such metallic fuels in this respect is pure metallic uranium slabs, without any alloys such as silicide or zirconium, with the highest atomic density of fissile materials. Another point related to this type of fuel is the possibility of much higher thermal conductivity compared to oxide fuels, which allows rapid transfer of heat to the coolant and increases lifetime and efficiency without the need to change the fuel quickly. Three goals have been achieved with the Iranians' production of enriched and non-enriched uranium slabs, but until a final decision is made on building a nuclear arsenal, these achievements may not find their true strategic value. Thanks for your attention, and see you next time.